um, voicing our hardships, our, our protests in channels that may be anti-Israel or anti-Jewish. That it's a hard thing, and but we lack our own channels, and we we need the help. And uh, in the sense of it may be misused, but it is uh, still free press, free free protest in a way here, and so uh, it has to be raised, and it it helps to expose us this way. She is Israeli really? from, from the, this German so Jewish you were just a young in love. No, I wasn't so young. Neither of us were young back in the I mean, we we're in our thirties already. But then when I was 44 and she was 45, I agreed to do she IVF. Was 45. And she did not have her... 45 uh, or 35? 45. She I mean, was 45? Right. Which is really... Uh, so oh. you get a donor oocyte, meaning the egg is the, the anonymous donation. And back then, younger women who were doing the IVF could donate extra oocytes and and the, the older women would, would pay more. And we'd, uh, so that's what we did, and uh, we were very lucky. And of course, a lot of other connections to it. I won't go into that now because... So she's 63 now? Right, I'm 62, she's 63. Mm. And, um, and our daughter's almost 18. And when she's 18, it might be legal to publish her pictures. She'll no longer be a minor. However, she was very upset when I mentioned that. And it's partly I'd like to be in the story with what happened so terribly. After years of only seeing her very briefly, being allowed to see her every six, seven, eight months. Here, fathers are targeted, denigrated, prevented from having contact and access with their children. Even though I pay as a note now, the tenth of the month, it was the last time she was she's seventeen that I have to. But it still goes on until. She finishes high school. Her mother held her back in kindergarten, only for the mother's reasons, and until she finishes the army, but in a less rate. Ah, but then she has to sue you for child support because no, no. from the age of 18... Maybe. It, no, Maybe. from the age of 18, you pay the child direct, okay? You pay right. a third. And if you don't, and then the child has to sue you, because I know this from my own experience. So you then pay her a third if you miss or not direct to her after right. her 18th birthday. Well, Happy, happy days ahead. In a way that Two I get to, to scream and shout, and uh, <laughs> I would love to write a book like you wrote a, wrote a book, and you translate into Hebrew of your own process of your own personal therapeutic uh, uh, journal, which is also a political creative I writing, that, I thought not creative, I but a documentary. It, I thought, you kind of, when I wrote it, that uh, I could uh, stick it on Amazon say goodbye, close the door in Israel and move on. Only trouble is my kid put a website up and everybody started writing to me. Right. And I felt unable to uh, resist, resist, uh, to walk away from people with the same shit, right. you know. Right. And that's why I got lumbered and now it's my destiny to be lumbered with you all. The, uh, well, <laughs> what can a, I do? I it's mean, a I'm choice, your, it's I'm a wonderful your thing. You're, everyone thinks is you're, a, an uh, enemy sometimes. You're both one of us and English woman and your your own, uh, you can go into the Arab countries and Palestinian areas, and what, and uh, you are special. Uh, if this is used against Israel, well, I, I think it's uh, that would be the not day. really. Even though the UN and others are biased against Israel, uh, uh, I, I, I think they are on a political forum. Right, but you know that I, I don't, don't mind do politics, uh, so being filmed kind of for this purpose. In any case, I want to get to the rights. point of the story. Yeah, yeah, please do. So finally, I got the privilege and the right uh, to take my daughter abroad. This, this year, wasn't this it? This summer. And I, the, I uh, gave the mother the form called the cons uh, form of consent by the other parent, for the, the custodial parent. If we had any problem at, at the borders, they never asked for it. But uh, I got it, and even her, the aunt signed, but she didn't respect it. And that five days into this 30 day trip to visit family, her genetic family, her father's side of the family. Her mother was always calling her, and she got scared in New York, and said she wanted to go home. And she really threw tantrum fits and uh, said, I could not jail her. I wasn't jailing her, I wasn't, your mother jails her with her parental alienation. Yeah, mother jail, and, uh, mother jail. Uh, uh, I'm were you only protecting ben, her. Were you in Sharon Ben Han's place when I Right, that happened. That? First yeah. we were four days in Toronto by this old, uh, my cousins, first cousins and their kids, and 
it was wonderful with being with the cousins and she, she felt very it. secure. She, so she loved it. But around the, still, it's very difficult to make reconnect with a, a child who you haven't you haven't had much contact with. Been supporting it's really really difficult. Um, and uh, and also she has all this kind of learned antagonism. Um, went to a shoe store and found her shoe size, but she didn't want to get things for shoe size. When we hit to New York, I had, I had these tickets for a tour, a four-day tour or whatever. We didn't use them. Uh, just wanted to see Times Square and this and that. And um, then she had a meltdown. And then it was a meltdown. And uh, so the next day, took her to the Newark airport. And, and there were no out flights that were uh, empty or, or had a seat. So got her a one-way ticket at United. I have the idea that I can sue the mother for the expenses, but <laughs> the big injury is the hurt and disappointment. Uh, and no, she doesn't know it, that uh, uh, broke said it's for her. I mean, her, the children are the big victims of parental alienation. Yes, they have their own life ahead of her, and it's trans transgenerational child abuse. They can pass on. Yeah. Now, she, my older brother is uh, very ill, and he was still active when, when we were there, and he had set up his place beautifully and had a lot of things for her. Same with, in, with cousins in so Los Angeles area. Laid out everywhere for and beautiful arrival. and all the cousins and the kids and um, and grandkids and even there's a grand grandmother, 96 year old grandmother, she didn't know and with her great grandkids there and um, to see how my cousin's daughters are growing up to be mothers. I hadn't seen them in 15 years, a 30 year old. They were wonderful but for my 7 year old daughter. And normal life stuff you know over there. Normal life. Grow families. Grow sure. Up There's, uh, they like have normal. their own problems and, and yeah. uh, own corruption and own political mess. Yeah but that's not but, the issue. But it's a different... Uh, however, if you look at the historical context of, uh, of, of uh, history, world history, Jewish history, anti-Semitism, Zionism, you have to take a broader, longer view. But that I won't get into here. I want to say that um, it's very, very hurtful. I went on, I continued on, on the tours to what we were going to do. And when I got back, tried to contact her. And uh, she was wasting her time in and lost out on this great trip. But I couldn't, she said she was going to a lot, but no, she and her mother went to Prague and Berlin, which is nice. But it's not family. And New York takes all those cities, takes most cities. and. Uh, do you really still talk to your ex-wife? I mean, are you on Well, she's not an ex-wife. No, Sorry, I'm not. Sorry, are you still on I, I, speaking I, terms my, with my the egg daughter? mother. The, the, no, the, occasionally the I can woman. ask and, and get an answer if I can speak with our daughter. But um, it's such a conflict that it's really hard. All the, the lies and the hurts and the... Um, oh, the pain. And, and the pain and the, and the power that she's had through the, what the people give them, what the, the system gives her, the social worker who writes the parental evaluation called the Tasker, the survey yeah. for the court. It's supposed to be a true thing. It was absolutely, uh, she did not meet me with the mother. She did not meet me with the daughter. She just, she just yeah, wrote uh, stuff. Wrote, uh, I gave her pictures and said, look, I have movies. And she stood up and was happy to get the pictures. But the pictures, you have to have the context that I didn't have. I have to explain it what these are. into the context. It wasn't a good context. She just grabbed them. I mean, uh, I never, uh, I never, um, I only have a daughter, I did not dress her that way, I just caught, the, the picture caught the eye moving, it was one of the things the mother did, to push on the child's eye, and, and among the abuses, and it's, it's very hard to, uh, got her to an ophthalmologist, an ophthalmologist who gave us a reference to the hospital, children's hospital clinic, but it's her uncle's, uncle's hospital, and I was abroad, and they suddenly got an uh, appointment, and that's as close as I got to getting the real evidence. You have to live like a detective with video cameras everywhere. And they hold all your papers. You have to be a little PI and here. And even, even that, even crazier aspect is uh, the issue of uh, child abuse, abuse in the kibbutz. I mean, what had happened. I want to get into that maybe perhaps, but and the what's called the the uh, cult of, of uh, lying or, 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 or protecting the Kesher Shtika, the cult of quietness about uh, in a slow silence, community. It's a wall of silence, basically. It's a wall of silence right. that you when, can't break, uh, isn't it? And how that affects you. You, you, you get uh, delegitimized, demonized, written off. And so for I, all these years, the 18 years that you've had this girl, you've been reduced to being... Well, actually not. As, uh, as long as uh, the mother's parents, the grandparents of my daughter, were alive on the kibbutz, they lived in like the late 80s. 
around them, the mother was on good behavior. But it was also a very strange system, and the family is uh, strange. But that's the kibbutz family, and I won't get into that right now. The, uh, but to get just that point of parental alienation, it began very early, right, uh, in the pregnancy, etc. Uh, but uh, uh, nevertheless, it's good to be a parent, and um, and it's really I don't blame my daughter that she is she built out uh, left that family trip together. It's very hurtful for all the family who were disappointed and kind of the old aunt, the sick older brother. The um, but uh, she has her life ahead and she will be 18 and be responsible for herself. After school, she has army and as a single child, she won't be in the combat role. And she grew up in that system. Uh, it's pretty... Today, she becomes a mother. She will remember who her father is. Well, and I, that I hope uh, you remember it in a good way, that it, yeah. the child abuse she suffered, she will not pass along, but she will have figured it out because it's, it's a really heavy, heavy thing.